I got hit right there on state. Mother's Day last year was anything but a celebration. He ran a stop sign. Then I walk, I'm walking across, he ran a stop sign. Then he hit me, like, then he hit me, and then he just kept going. Ten-year-old Michael Gasket says the crash sent him to the hospital. What's up the craziest? He was wearing this sweatshirt. Now he wears it for another kid. He is hard a three-year-old was hit by a car two weeks ago on Hatmaker Street in Lower Price Hill. He's recovering at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. But Michael and his friends have a message that couldn't wait until he's home. We need people! We need people! And it's caught the attention of two Cincinnati City Council members. I've, I've seen cars speeding up and down the street. We need to get more visibility in the crosswalks. I tried to cross and counted nearly 20 cars flow through the crosswalk before I could even cross. They have some temporary ideas to make this area safer. There are opportunities to do what we call bump outs, where you make the curb extend more into the street. Cars naturally slow down when they perceive a smaller area space to turn into. Even the simple thing of having traffic officers out here helping direct traffic until we get something else in place. How do you feel walking on the street every day? Not very safe. Slow down, not going fast is good. I used to walk around here with my friends, but now I can't do that no more. Slow down so children like Michael don't have to cross the street in fear. Both council members Liz Keating and Reggie Harris say the city received a federal grant for traffic calming measures. They don't know the exact dollar amount or when those funds will be available, but when they are, they say they could be used in this area. Reporting in Lower Price Hill, Jessica Hart, WCPO 9 News.